Portugal's capital, with an area of 100 square kilometers and a population of slightly over 500,000, is highly coveted by foreigners seeking a new abode. Astonishingly, almost 300,000 of the population are immigrants. In the first half of the year 2022 alone, a staggering 133,000 immigrants registered in Portugal, 22,000 more than the total number of new immigrants registered in the whole of 2021. Among the immigrants in Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, 78,000 are Brazilians. This can be attributed to the government's recent facilitation of foreign entry into Portugal. Visa creation and facilitation for job seekers, digital nomads, and university students are among the measures that have made Portugal one of the prime destinations for immigrants, with Lisbon being a primary attraction. Over the years, Lisbon has emerged as a prominent city, thanks to its climate, education, healthcare, and welcoming nature. However, the city may be a victim of its own success, with a growing population leading to an array of issues. Housing has become inadequate, rent has become exorbitant, and people are coming to terms with the fact that living and working in Lisbon is not as idyllic as portrayed. According to a study conducted by CIA landlords, the cost of living in the city exceeds negative 1,000 euros. Lisbon is indeed a popular destination for tourists and immigrants alike, with its sunny weather, beautiful scenery, and relatively affordable prices. However, the city is facing a number of challenges that could potentially threaten its appeal and stability. One major issue is the skyrocketing cost of living, as mentioned earlier. The city's housing market has become increasingly unaffordable for many locals, leading to gentrification and displacement. This can have negative consequences for the city's social fabric and cultural diversity. Another concern is the city's aging infrastructure and public services. Lisbon is known for its charming historic neighborhoods, but many of these areas are in need of renovation and modernization. The city's public transport system, in particular, has been criticized for being inadequate and outdated. In addition, Lisbon is not immune to the effects of climate change. The city has experienced severe heat waves and wildfires in recent years, which can have serious health and environmental impacts. Despite these challenges, there are also efforts underway to address them and ensure that Lisbon remains a livable and attractive city. The government is investing in infrastructure and affordable housing, while also promoting sustainable tourism and environmental initiatives. The city's vibrant cultural scene and excellent education system continue to draw people from all over the world. Only time will tell whether Lisbon will be able to navigate these challenges and maintain its status as a desirable destination. The number of Americans in Portugal has nearly tripled over the past decade, according to the Wall Street Journal, reaching almost 7,000. Many of those who have decided to exchange the American dream for the Portuguese one were attracted by the lower cost of living, health, sunny climate, tax incentives, and the ease of obtaining a residential visa. In recent times, it has become much easier for Americans who work remotely to live in European countries like Portugal due to the balance between the dollar and the euro, which reached parity for the first time in 20 years in July 2022. Most of the foreigners who move to Lisbon are digital nomads, people who don't need to be physically at the office, so they realize the opportunity to live with a better or equal quality of life, paying less for it. However, a study by the insurance company CIA Landlords found that Lisbon was the third most expensive city in the world to live in, taking into account rent prices, cost of living, and salary. While Lisbon is relatively cheap for those coming from abroad, those who depend on the Portuguese salary to live may struggle to make ends meet. According to the study, 1,149 euros are missing to close the account, equivalent to about 6,200 reis missing every month. This includes the prices of rents in the city center, the cost of living, and the average salary of workers. A three-bedroom apartment in the center costs just over 1,600 euros, and the cost of living is around 561 euros, all of which must be paid for with a salary of 1,037 euros. This calculation doesn't include the cost of education for children, 
which would come out to around 500 euros each. E high cost of living in Lisbon, particularly the expensive rent, has had a negative impact on many Brazilians who moved there seeking a better life. In a 2019 report by Veja magazine, several Brazilians shared their disappointing experiences in Lisbon. Marina Lamar, for instance, moved to Portugal with her family in search of safety and affordable education for her children, but they struggled with low wages and high rents, forcing them to live with friends and eventually return to Brazil with the help of relatives. Similarly, Ana Duarte arrived in Lisbon in 2016 with hopes of pursuing a master's degree, finding a good job, and living comfortably. However, despite sending over 300 resumes, she was unable to secure a job and planned to seek a scholarship in another European country instead. The job market in Portugal is not great for highly qualified individuals, especially foreigners, despite the fact that the country shares the Portuguese language with Brazil. Many job openings are available in sectors such as tourism, commerce, and cleaning, but they do not pay enough to cover the high cost of living in Lisbon. To obtain a good position in Portugal, one must have a diploma recognized in the country, which can involve a lengthy bureaucratic process. Area of expertise is also a significant factor in securing a good job. The cost of living in Lisbon, Portugal is high, particularly in terms of housing, which has been affected by supply and demand. Rent prices have more than doubled since 2013, making it difficult for immigrants and even Portuguese citizens to find affordable housing in the city center. Although there are job opportunities in certain sectors such as information technology, low wages make it challenging to afford living in the city. As a result, many people are leaving Lisbon or even the country in search of better opportunities elsewhere in Europe. Brazilians are among the group most affected, with many applying for the Voluntary Return and Reintegration Support Program due to financial struggles. Those who choose to remain in the city may have to live far from work or share living spaces with others, making it a difficult situation for many. The real estate pressure in Lisbon is brutal, and it's not just affecting the middle and lower classes, but also pushing out Lisboners from the city. Prices have skyrocketed in the last decade, making it impossible for young people and university students to keep up with the costs of housing, university, and basic living expenses. Many end up dropping out of higher education due to financial constraints. The situation is so dire that even a simple room can cost close to the minimum wage. Additionally, the high cost of living in Lisbon is forcing many to live far from the city and commute long hours to work which affects their quality of life. The influx of foreigners with more money is exacerbating the situation, pushing up real estate prices and leaving many locals with limited options. This has led to a sense of resentment towards foreigners and even fueled xenophobic sentiments in some cases. Reports of cases of xenophobia against Brazilians in Portugal have increased by 433% since 2017. The brain drain phenomenon is also affecting Portugal, with many young graduates moving to other countries to find better career opportunities. This leaves the Portuguese market lacking in good professionals, and many companies pay low salaries compared to other European countries, causing a further exodus of talented workers. Although the Portuguese people are generally in favor of the entry of foreigners into the country, immigration is still considered one of the top four problems that the European Union needs to face in the coming years. The high cost of living and low wages in Portugal and its capital, Lisbon, remain a significant challenge for the country. The influx of foreigners with more money has put a lot of pressure on Lisbon's housing market, pushing out locals who can no longer afford to live there. This has resulted in an increase in real estate prices that are impossible for the middle and lower classes to keep up with. The situation is particularly difficult for young people and university students who struggle to pay for housing and education. The high cost of living has also caused a brain drain, where many graduates move to other countries for better job opportunities. While the Portuguese people generally support the entry of foreigners, there has been an increase in xenophobic incidents against Brazilians. 
The high cost of living and low wages have resulted in a significant portion of the population living in poverty and in temporary positions. Lisbon also faces drug-related issues, with open-air drug sales still happening despite being prohibited. While Portugal decriminalized drug use in the past, the country still faces drug trafficking issues due to its location. Additionally, the pandemic has affected the Portuguese economy, causing concerns of a possible recession in the future. It is important to acknowledge the challenges faced by Lisbon, including economic disparities, high levels of temporary employment, and poverty among workers. The city also struggles with drug trafficking and has been affected by the potential of a recession in Europe. However, it is premature to say that Lisbon is going to sink. The city is still considered one of the best places in the world to live, particularly for digital nomads, entrepreneurs, and wealthy retirees. It is possible to find good jobs in Lisbon, particularly in the technology sector, but it requires research, financial planning, and navigating bureaucratic processes. While the city has hurdles to overcome, it is not in danger of disappearing from the map anytime soon. Improvements in housing and wages could make it an even better place to live. It is important to continue to address these challenges to avoid the brain drain and maintain its status as a global city.